I did a video recently um, contemplating profit, and I think I would refine that a bit and say the conditions for profit as a step change or like local elimination of entropy. And I just want to like think about that a little bit more because when you sort of think of the naive, just general kind of accounting conceptualization of profit, it's uh, a, you know, that your, your concern takes in more money than it spends. And then you just sort of have to think about, you know, how is that possible? And what it entails is that you, you know something that your customers don't. You have information that your customers don't. So that's the sort of entropy differential there. And that I want to contemplate in the context of secrecy and privacy and, and sort of what the difference is between secrecy and privacy. Um, Bruce Schneier has a bit, because you hear this a lot about the, you know, if you have nothing to hide, then, you know, what's the problem uh, kind of business that, that he regularly gets asked. Uh, and he goes to his, you know, whoever's doing the interview, he's like, okay, cool. So, uh, you know, what's your, what's your take home? What's your salary? And of course they, you know, get very uncomfortable at this point. And I think the, the thing, uh, one of the things sort of important to talking about privacy is to talk about it in contrast to secrecy. Because what makes a secret important is the secret itself. Like the fact that a secret has value is that nobody knows it. And if people knew, then there would be some problems uh, stemming from that. Whereas private information is just none of your friggin' business. And I'm thinking about this in the context of the recent Microsoft uh, announcement where they've got some AI thing that's going to track everything on your computer or whatever. And I think the thing that has been demonstrated uh, over and over in the, in the last you know, you know, couple decades is uh, with these entities gobbling up information, it's valuable to them. They wouldn't do it if it wasn't. They are attempting to decrease their local entropy when they do that. And the thing is, is just that information is just, it's just none of their business. And that's always kind of been my approach to privacy is that if I don't, like if, if the information, I don't know, I mean, this is sort of the thing, again, going back to secrecy, a secret that is a secret that I know is a secret, I know that telling you the secret would be bad for me. If, on the other hand, like information about me or what have you, I don't really know what the, the liability, like I don't, like this is, this, to me is one of sort of the key aspects of it is like I don't know necessarily what you could do with that information. And I have no obligation to tell you. So, you know, screw off is really what it reduces to. And it's kind of, I kind of have been thinking about it myself over, you know, the course of my adult life as like, you know, I don't buy stuff, you know, I don't buy Gucci, you know, or whatever. I don't buy stuff with you know, obvious logos on it or I don't buy graphic t-shirts or whatever. Because I don't have to, because I don't have to pay to advertise for a company uh, if I don't want to. And similarly, I don't 
I don't have to participate uh, in, in seeding my information to a company. And it's like, if I don't have to, it's like, it's value. It's, it's always been an economic thing for me. It's valuable to you. Oh yeah. Where's my cut is really what it reduces to. And so when you put it into that context, privacy in general, the idea that I just don't have to tell you it's not an obligation on my part. I don't have to participate. You don't, you're not entitled to this information. If you want it, we can talk about a price, but I know you won't because the entire premise is that you get the stuff for free. And that attitude I think is the one to have when it comes to privacy. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee.